Carson Wentz wears the number 11 for the Bison, and on a scale from 1 to 10 for FCS quarterbacks, his jersey number could be an accurate rating. Wentz started 16 games as the Bison quarterback last season and completed 63.7% of his passes for over 3,000 yards with 25 touchdowns. He has an elusive run game as well. He had two 100-yard rushing games last year, giving him a total of 642 rushing yards. And he topped off the 2014 season by leading NDSU to their fourth consecutive FCS National Championship. Simply put, he's the guy you want on your team, whether you're a player or a coach. There's just not very many quarterbacks in in college football uh, that you just kind of give the keys to Uh, in certain situations um, at the line of scrimmage and he's a guy that we feel very comfortable uh, in saying Carson put us in the best play. Play calling is important but it's Wentz's composure that sets him apart. The sign of a great quarterback is when you can play well late in games when when it's uh, pressures on you and stuff and you can still deliver and still have that same demeanor of it's just a it's the same as it is in the first quarter as in the fourth quarter, and Carson just means the world to our football team. With two minutes left on the clock in the second round playoff game against SDSU last year, Wentz directed the Bison in eight plays for 76 yards, resulting in a touchdown and a last-minute win. He remained unruffled again in the championship game against Illinois State. With 37 seconds left, he scored the game's final touchdown, giving the Thundering Herd a 29-27 championship win. Last season's performances landed him on Mel Kuyper's watch list as the number three senior quarterback prospect for the 2016 draft. But recognition didn't come without patience for his turn as an offensive leader. The NFL prospect was a backup quarterback for the first three national championships. Being the backup for those other ones uh, obviously was very cool. Um, being a part of it was just awesome. But to be able to be out there and, and to, to lead the team um, in the way that we did uh, just was a really cool uh, experience. Something you might not know, this season is only his third season as the starting quarterback ever. I played some running back growing up in, in fifth grade and that type of thing. And my junior year of high school, I actually played receiver and linebacker because I had arm problems. But, you know, I always always been a quarterback deep down. Although he knew he was meant to be a quarterback, he didn't officially start playing the position till his senior year of high school, but that was never a concern for his teammates or for wide receiver Zach Groff. His knowledge of the playbook, knowledge of football in general, um, he can go out there, look at coverages and change it to a play that maybe we haven't ran in a week because he knows exactly what the looks are. Um, He can just He can read the field really well. He's the complete quarterback package for the Bison and might be for a professional team. But the NFL talk is on the back burner for now. He's focused on the Dakota marker game, and although the rivalry is intense, you'll likely see the same cool and calm number 11 on the field. I go into the game um, like it's just another game. Um, I I try not to let the atmosphere affect how I'm going to play. I try not to let the... Um, the situation, anything, I just go play my game. So I don't think it'll be too different uh, for the most part. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see that.